This is John Zaninovich. Welcome to Move My Mass. You'll be hearing from great guests talk about balancing life and being fit. Man, glad to have you on here, Anna. Thanks for having me. I know we've been talking quite a while. You know, every time you come to visit, like I got to get on your show. There's so many things I want to talk about. This aging with these injuries is not a fun thing. Yeah. You know, I want to come on and talk about how that's going. Yeah. So looking forward to it. But, uh, you know, with your background in athletics, it's not surprising that you're dealing with some issues throughout the body. So tell me about your, what is your athletic background? Yeah. Tell the, tell the crowd here. Yeah. So um, my athletic career started uh, around seven years old after I got kicked out of ballet. Um, <laughs> the ballet teacher told my uh, mom she was wasting her money. So my mom took a different angle and enrolled me in soccer and mm -hmm. AYSO. So I quickly uh, fell in love with that. And um, I also was a very active child. And I, I think you probably were too, but like, I I did tennis, soccer, golf, skiing, snowboarding, just kind of all the classic sports and uh, played year round. Mm -hmm. um, then in high school, once you, you know, realize what competition's all about um, on a whole nother level, I uh, stuck with soccer um, and then tried all the sports, volleyball, cross country, track. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then soccer just kept coming through and uh, then took that to D1. And at was Saint soccer Mary's. your favorite from your youngest years? Was it always your favorite or um, became you know, your favorite later? I just, I love all the sports. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> um, but soccer is just something that I put the most time into, I think, and yeah. uh, which took me the furthest. I mean, it took me all around the United States for free, you know, right, playing for right. school and. Um, I was just really good at it. So, yeah. Goalkeeping. Goalkeeping the... and played a little bit of field yeah. um, when we were on bigger tournaments and, you know, they needed right. to rotate right. some players. But yeah, goalkeeping. Yeah. Yeah. Was there a moment when you're like, this is my thing? Like, was there a game, a certain game, a certain tournament where you're like, I'm really good at this? Or was it just yeah, you, you know, always knew you were pretty good? Yeah. Uh, I, I didn't even think of it as good. I just wanted to win. Like I'm so competitive. Um, and I became a goalkeeper because I was on the worst soccer team in high school. I played for Foothill and <laughs> we just kept losing. And I was like, put me in the goal, man. I, that's like <laughs> yeah. the only place I can make a difference. And, yeah. Yeah. Um, I excelled pretty quickly, made all state, all whatever city. Um, and I'd mm -hmm. have like 30 to 40 saves a game. So I got a lot of practice. Yeah, that's a lot of attempts <laughs> on goal, isn't it? Yeah, well, I mean, we were pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we would beat Shafter and that's it. Right, like, yeah. Maybe you get South. Your, get your one or two wins a year yeah. and have to deal with it. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the way it can go sometimes. Yeah, yeah. So at what age, what level of soccer did you start sustaining injuries? Um, I sprained my ankle in my senior year. Um, I mean, those fields were horrible with holes. And, Go for holes everywhere, I bet. Yeah. Mounds of dirt. Yeah. So I sprained my ankle pretty good. Yeah. Um, yeah. My first injuries came from riding bicycles in the dirt hills. Mm -hmm. um, and I went over a jump into a hole and it just threw me on my head and, uh, you know, had a major brain concussion. Um, yeah, because you mentioned, let me see, I mean, numerous concussions. Yeah, I've had about your... four major ones that I can recall barely. <laughs> <laughs> right. And how many so, of those were playing soccer? Um, you know, none of them were playing soccer. Oh, no um, kidding. No. Bike riding, um, uh, wrestling with a friend. I got pushed into a fireplace. <laughs> Hate when that happens. And then snowboarding and skiing before helmets. Yeah, right. I right. Uh, really destroyed myself a couple times. Yeah. So... Um, yeah, injuries. So kind of the what I wanted to talk about was, you know, I'm I'm going on 48 now and I'm still very active. I I'm a big surfer. I surf 10 to 15 hours a week and mm -hmm. just as you know, as you work out repetitively, it's just like it, you're a little hey. um 
out of whack, you know? Yeah. I like to call it out of whack. If if you wake up it's all right. sleeping hey on a... Hey everybody, we got a sweet dog in here with us hanging out. Yeah. 11-year-old golden retriever. So she's going to talk now and then, which is fine. Huh, girl? You're going to be in here and visit for a little bit? <laughs> it's all good, huh? Yeah, she's she likes yeah. to communicate. But you want to lay down? But yeah, so... Yeah, surfing. Surfing, Trying to keep... Yeah. Yeah. How's the the ADD here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like to surf. Um, yeah. So I guess we'll just jump into. We don't need to talk about all the injuries, um, but I've probably had about thirty pretty severe. Be lay down, lay down. Be a good girl. Lay down. <laughs> I've had about I would say thirty pretty severe injuries. Mm-hmm. Um, a, a dozen sprained ankles, broken fingers, wrists. Um, and then most recently, um, my rib popped out duck diving a pretty big wave last November, but I didn't realize it. Right. I just was like, Oh, my shoulder hurts, you know? And of course I kept surfing on it and called my doctor, but couldn't get in for a couple months. And it's yeah. like epic surf season. So I'm like, I'm just going to surf through the pain, take Advil. Um, and then it became more and more excruciating. And then my sister, Kate, was like, um, she checked it out because she's a massage therapist. Yeah, and she's yeah. just like, your rib's out of place. And I was like, oh, well, that makes a lot of sense of why I'm in so much pain. <laughs> yeah. You know? I've and, never heard of that. So why would you expect that to be the thing? Yeah. You know? Yeah. But I'm here a year later still dealing with it. And it's like. Western medicine versus, you know, chiropractor that's not covered by insurance, but that's what helps the most. It's just like, how do you manage what you're dealing with? And so how are you managing? So you haven't had surgery. No. You're supposed to. Yeah, that was recommended. But I've got, so the diagnosis was three tears in my rotator cuff and um, a rib that keeps popping out and um, some bone spurs just with age. Yeah. So, um, I opted for a cortisone shot so I could surf through the next season. I didn't want to miss a whole nother season, which is where I'm at now. Mm -hmm. Um, but dealing with tension and and pain still, but not anything like it was. So I'm like, do I really need the surgery? Can I just deal with this body pain the rest of my life? Right. You know, like how do you kind of make those decisions? So what's your day to day dealing with it? So you have a routine that, okay, if I do these things, it helps right. me surf right? or helps me do things. What are, what are those steps? What do you do? So I do um, a lot of stretching mm-hmm. um, when I can. I really don't have the patience for it, but I try because I know that's probably the best. Um, right. I, I see a chiropractor mm-hmm. to keep my rib in place. <laughs> and how frequent do you have to do that? Um, depending on how much I'm surfing and, and what it's like, uh, okay. I would say probably twice a month, um, which is expensive. That's out of pocket, right? right. Cause they don't get covered by insurance usually. Um, and what, so describe the physical, how, do, what are they, what's the chiropractor do to put a rib in place? Um, what do they do? Yeah. <laughs> so the first time. And after, does it hurt like hell when they do it? The first time, uh, Kate's like, I can get you into my chiropractor today. And, and she didn't really explain what was going to happen, but they basically like put my arm up and then she's like, hold your breath. And then she popped, it's a top rib and it's like between your kind of collarbone and your shoulder bone. Okay. Um, and I saw God when that happened, (laughs) (laughs) I was like, Oh my God, I had no idea that my rib was out of place and that it was going to hurt that much. Like I just, yeah, it's weird when you get injured and you're not really sure exactly what's wrong, but yeah, can still function. Well, especially when you, you know, we all know the normal injury, sprained ankle, broken arm. Yeah. Or, you know, stuff like that. You know what's up. Yeah. But a super high rib, out of place, you just know you're in pain. Right. But. Right. And, or I, even, and how the hell do I fix this? Yeah. You're like, I can't lift my arm anymore all the way to the top. You yeah. know, it's like you lose that rotation, but you're not. You, Mentally, you don't even realize what's happened yeah. if you don't so, really know much about the body. Right. So I got you. I apologize. I got you off track. So no, we start okay. with the stretching. 
That's oh, yeah. your yeah. So that's important, obviously. Yeah. See the chiropractor. Keep the rib in place. Yep. Um, I deal with just a lot of pain yeah. regularly because I don't really like to take Advil and that sort of thing. So right. I'm just yeah, like right I. now I'm in pain, you know, and it's just right here. But I don't know. I don't really feel like a surgery is going to solve that. I feel like I just kind of have to get through it and, and eventually it'll go away. And so when when do you know you have to go back to the chiropractor? Like, okay, I can't lift my arm anymore or the pain's at a certain level or combination. Yeah, yeah, you I just think, know it's time. Yeah. I, you can, now I know I'm aware of it. And so now I just go to the chiropractor when I feel it out So, or it's about to pop out. Since it pops out, does it become easier for it to pop out or no? It's getting, I've been doing a lot of strengthening. So that's the other okay. thing. I do a lot of strengthening weights. Um, uh, yoga to keep it in place. So it's, it actually hasn't popped out in quite some time, which has been good. Uh, that is good. Yeah. And you know, you also mentioned spraining your ankle. Um, how many times? Like a, a lot. Yeah. Like the last time the, was probably the most embarrassing. I was, uh, walking in, uh, Manhattan, uh, for work and it was dark and there was, um, road construction and it wasn't marked. And I literally kind of half stepped off the curve and face planted in some trash. And I was just like, <laughs> oh my gosh, like I think I just broke my ankle. You know? Walking. Walking. I in know. Manhattan. But isn't that the case? You know, as we age, yeah. like our stories of getting hurt were so much cooler when we were young. Yeah. Yeah. I went off a 20 foot jump on my bike and stacked it up and sprained my ankle. Okay. You know, yeah. understood. Now I'm walking through Manhattan. Stuff off the sidewalk wrong, and I go down for the count. I had, the hotel, right. the hotel pillow was too big, and now my neck's out of place. Like <laughs> but that's it's an true. injury. Yeah, a hotel pillow injury. You know, I know. So. I've got a. It's not an injury, per se, but I've got this swelling in my elbow from doing planks. Wow. You know, just the pressure on the. It's yeah. so stupid. Yeah. Like that would have never happened in my younger days, but. Now, I'm like, all right. Yeah. Guess what, though? Got me out of planks for a little while until it heals. Yeah, you know, that's a benefit. <laughs> Tape a pillow to it. Yeah. <laughs> that's, but that's the case. Yeah. You know, that wouldn't have never happened when I was younger. We get older, and yeah, you have to figure out how to yeah, deal so, through get through these injuries. Because, like, yeah, you're surfing a lot, and you said during COVID you were surfing ten to fifteen hours a week or something yeah, like that. Yeah, and obviously that was pre-injury. Yeah. Yeah. But can you surf 10 to 15 hours a week now? Yes. If you wanted to? Yes, I can. You just deal with it. I just deal with it. And, um, you know, I am surfing in cold water, so I'm, I'm doing an ice bath at the same time. That is true. Yeah. So. Um, Any specific movements you do before you get in the water to get it ready? Uh, Not really. I mean, I do a couple windmills, you know. Right, right. You know, but nothing really. No, just, but not, you haven't found that trick where you're like, if I do this, I'm going to have a better experience. Not, not really. I mean, just stretching, the, just a mild 10 minute kind of warm up stretch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, so, what would be the surgery to fix? Well, the tears, I understand. Yeah. But how do they deal with the rib? What happens with the rib? How, um, like, how does that, is that a surgery to fix that or you just have to deal with that? I think that the strengthening and physical therapy is what that is. But, I don't know if if you've dealt with going to the doctor in the last couple of years as well. I mean, it's out of control. You can't like I, you can't like get physical therapy. It, it takes like six months. You're on a waiting list, so you really have to kind of do the research yourself. The Google um, doctor. Google move. doctor. Yeah. Um, Allo moves is a uh, online program that I use quite a bit too. Uh -huh. um, it's like. 85 bucks a year and you have access to a bunch of different kinds of strengthening and so what are the specific strengthening moves you do to help it um do you a have, lot a, do you have like, a list i do like a, a lot of dumbbells uh -huh. a lot of dumbbells what um, movement specifically um like these the flies the flies uh -huh. you, you know all the names probably it's been a while since i've done um, all that the ones that go up so pretty much shoulder exercises yeah, shoulder, you're just doing shoulder strengthening yeah and that, so how, two questions. Yes. One, how do you not feel pain from the tears? And how do you not feel pain from the ribs, the rib when you're doing that? 
Because that's like, you're right in there with the terrorists doing all that. Yeah. Um, I got a cortisone shot this summer. But there um, you go. Yeah, I've been pretty anti-cortisone. And, and then uh, I was like, you know, I want to try to surf this whole season. I got to alleviate some of the pain. And, and that really helped um, yeah. with the pain. So right. that excruciating five to 10 level pain is yeah. not there anymore. Knocks it down to what, a three maybe? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I just kind of work through it. Yeah. So, and you don't really have any pain, which besides your swollen elbow. Uh, yeah, I've been lucky that. I mean, every once in a while something will irritate me, but no, I don't have any uh, lingering chronic. Or, yeah, or chronic pain. Yeah. Thank goodness. Yeah, that's great. But but yeah, it's it's just. And I have to say, it's not because I'm doing things to prevent it. I'm just <laughs> it's just luck. Yeah. Like and, and there are things that will flare up on me, like my sciatic will flare up. Mm -hmm. Not very often, but I'm not even smart enough to do things to. I wait for it to flare up, and then I start doing the things to help it. Yeah. Instead of doing things to help it before it happens. Totally. It just I, is what it is. Yeah. I'm not saying that's a proud thing. I'm just lazy about it. Yeah. yeah. I'm that guy when I go on a workout, whatever workout it is, when that's over, it's over. Yeah. It's like I have to force myself to go do core. I have to force myself to stretch, yeah. which a person should just make that part of their workout. Like yeah. that—that's included in your workout today, John. Yeah, your your push workout or whatever your a person's workout is. Core and stretching is a part of that day. Right. Not in my head. Workouts over. That's extra credit. Yeah. I mean, it's wrong thinking, but I'm just no, being honest. I uh, know. I hear you. I mean. <laughs> So many, you know, trainers out there will just be like the core and your your legs and your core are like your foundation. That should be on almost like four times a week. You should be doing that, but mm -hmm. it's so mentally hard to make yourself to core. Yes, I know. Yeah, I have started working out with uh, Sam Ames recently. We've been now for about a month or five weeks working mm. out consistently together. He likes to work core. So that's been, so I've been doing it three days a week. He likes, so you found someone that likes to do core. Yeah, I know. Yeah. He's whack, yeah. but that's okay. How, how much time do you spend on core? 10 minutes, actually five to 10 minutes. Five to 10 minutes. Yeah. yeah. But one thing that uh, my person, when I was working out with a personal trainer and he was on the, on the show, Arturo, he's, he's ripped because I don't even work core. He says, I work core during all my exercises. Oh. So he showed me how to breathe, how to hold myself during different weightlifting exercises. Oh. He says, that's working core. Are you working core right now? Yeah. Just sometime, sitting up? Sometimes. Like yeah. But so whenever I do work out during throughout the workout and during my exercises, I'm concentrating on it. It's not as good as just, I don't think, going to do a core program, right. but at least I'm benefiting there. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, so let's talk about the hat you got on for a second oh yeah yeah so um as you know being outdoors all the time in the sun like um I'm surfer a hat maker, girl so, yeah. yeah on the beach um my dad farming you're in the farming industry big hat wear to protect yourself from the sun so um yeah i started my own hat business mm -hmm. uh, during the pandemic and uh working with Mostly natural materials with the people that grow the straw to weaving it to blocking it here in the United States. So I just gifted you this hat right here. Love it. It's Golden door. hats. Goldenshade.com. At goldenshade.com. No, no E in the golden because it was $25,000 to buy a vowel and I opted not to buy that Passed vowel. on that. Yeah. And on Instagram, it's gold, golden shade. On Instagram or what is it on yeah, Instagram? Yeah. Golden shade, golden, golden shade. hats. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you for the hat. Yeah. And uh where so you say you even work with people that are making the straw. Where's that from? The Ecuador. Straw. The that's Tokia straw, hand woven in Ecuador. Um it used to be called a Panama hat when Teddy mm -hmm. Roosevelt was down in the Panama Canal and got photographed, right. but it's right. not. It's an Ecuadorian hat. Just to did not correct know that. history, since we're correcting history all over the yeah, place. Yeah, did not know um, that. Yeah. So well, there you go. Love the hats. 
Yeah, they've been making them for 5,000 years, over 5,000 years there. No kidding. Yeah. Yeah, it's got an amazing history. That is a long time. Yeah, and you can take care of it and have it the rest of your life and not have to buy a bunch of hats. And for sure, but people should go out there and buy them. Buy one. From you. Buy one and, uh, you know, enjoy it for the rest of your life. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Got the baseball caps. Yep. Got the, the pool, yeah. The pool cap and, yep. You're ready to roll. All essential yeah. everyday hats. So. Yeah. Well, um, just to wrap up here, I just, um, managing your pain and um, staying on a budget with it, too. It's almost like you kind of have to plan your self-care to get through these injuries and yeah because you can get out of hand on going to numerous things to try to fix it right you know w- without a surgery yeah but it's some and i'm not saying you know if you got the means go do everything you can but you can almost overdo it yeah trying to fix it too right you know so you got to be careful about it like when i do stretch i like to i, I do enjoy stretching I just don't enjoy the time that it takes to stretch. If that makes sense. <laughs> it totally does. But yeah, I mean, you can ov- you can overdo it. Like, get the benefit and yeah, keep on moving. Yeah, and do don't, your thing. Don't let the pain overcome your mood too. You know, and that's a big one. So yeah, when I and I do understand that when I uh, when I have had sciatic pain, it's excruciating. Yeah. And when I used to drive out to the ranch in the morning, I the whole drive out there, I was dreading getting out of my pickup. Oh wow. Because that step was it was horrible. Mm. It's that was a 10 on pain. It was only for a few seconds, but that first step down to the ground, mm-hmm. it's like every morning uh, somebody with a sword stabbing my ass. That's what it felt like. <laughs> yeah. Know? Yeah. yeah. Like, and there was I tried every way to get out of that truck. Like spin both legs out. Huh. I haven't tried. I'm like, I'm just going to jump out and see. That, that oh, was the worst move. That yeah. took pain to like a 15. Yeah, that's. And then that's I good. do it real slow. That just drug out the level 10 pain. So I would just get there, put my foot down and get out and just. Deal with it. Take that take that shot of pain and then it would go away. But it would change my mood. Because mm-hmm. I'm just like, instead of being excited for the day, I'm trying to. Avoid pain. You know, and it just goes back full circle what we're both saying. Do the preventative stuff. Right. You What's know? wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, do the preventative stuff so you don't deal with getting out of your truck and dealing with it. Yeah. Or not being able to surf without a lot of pain. But Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming on and yeah. telling the story. Because yeah. it's important to a lot of us aging athletes to stay on top of it. Yeah. And hope we've inspired somebody today tell them about it that they want to skip core they want to skip stretching yeah they want to skip some strength exercises don't skip it go get it done go get it done and and also go try to figure out what's wrong once you injure yourself and don't you know deal with it for three months before getting it taken care of because i'm sure it caused us some extra damage there (laughs) yes that's a fact yeah. yeah well thank you so much yeah great show